so once you add the routing in your react application so let's start creating this add user form so for that just go into this add user.js and let me just clear this one from here and let me just wrap this div with container so just type class name container and similarly just go inside this div and create another div for row so just type class name and just type row and inside this div so i just want to give some styling so for that just type div class name and just give the column of medium size with six span and just type offset and just type offset of medium size three and similarly so we just want to make the border also so we just want to give the border for the div and just type rounded and similarly just type padding four and margin top two and if i just save this application and just go inside here and if i just go here so you can see the outlook of this div and now let me just give shadow as well so just type shadow and save this application so you can see the shadow into this div as well so now let's try the heading so for that let me just type heading 2 and just type class name so i just want to write the text into the center so just type text center or you can just give the margin 4 and if i just type something like register user and save this application so you can see the register user has been displayed so once you do that so let's start creating the input box so for that let me just write div class name and just type margin bottom three and inside here so i just want to give one label so label and it's for html for so just type html for name so we just want to write the label for name and just type class name and just give the form label which is given by bootstrap so just type form label and just type name here so just save this application and if i just go here so you can see the name and we just need to make the input box here so for that just type input and just type type equals text so this is the text format and just type class name and just type form control which is also given by bootstrap so just type form control and just type placeholder as well so the placeholder and just type the text we want to give so just type something like enter your name or you can just give any text you want and just type name equals name so just type name and just close this one so just type slash and close this bracket and if i just save this application and if i just go here so you can see the input form for username or name has been displayed so now similarly let's add for username as well so for that we can just copy from this div margin bottom three to this div so let me just copy and just paste twice so just paste twice and you can see the two text boxes and let me just change this name into username and this name into email so for that let's start changing so let me just type username here so just type username and just give the label username and similarly just type enter your username here and instead of this name so just type username and similarly let me just change this name into email so for that just type email and let me just change the label into email and you can just change this enter your name into in email address and let me just change this name into email now if i just save this application and come here so you can see the register user with name username and email so similarly so we just need to add the button as well so we just need to add the submit button so for that let me just go down here and let me just type button so just type button and just type type equals submit and you just need to give the class name and the class name would be for button so just type button and we just want to give the blue color with the outline so just type button and just type outline primary or you can give the color as your preference so let me just close this button and just type submit so just save this application and you can see the submit button has been successfully added so similarly i just want to add another button as well so if i just click on cancel so this should go into the home page and for that so we just need to add another button so let me just call it button so you can just copy and paste this button as well so let me just copy this submit button 
and paste it inside here and let me just change this into something like danger so this should look something like red and you can just give the margin to and let me just type cancel instead of this submit and if i just save the application so you can see the two buttons one for submit and one for cancel so if i don't want to enter the data so i can just click and cancel and this should navigate us to the home page